Welcome to TechPresence with Amir. In this video, we are going to create a pipeline in which we will be copying the file from source container or folder uh, to the output folder and other folder that we will create with the year, month, and day. So after copying the file from the source, we will uh, just delete those files. We need, don't need them as we have copied to the this uh, format uh, that new folder we will create. Uh, so every day you will run this pipeline and every day when uh, the pipeline will run and uh, whatever the files are sitting there, it will move uh, uh, to the folder. So if uh, there is a new month coming in, you know, it's going to create a new month uh, and uh, with the new day. So that's how the new folder will be created and uh, the file will be moved to the that uh, folder. So you can uh, run in 10 p.m. every day. All the files on that day will be moved to the uh, newly folder. Next day, the file will be moved to the next uh, folder. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here we have Azure portal and I have a blob storage. And in the blob storage, I have container called the input. So think about that the input for container is the container where you get tons of files every day and you, you process them. And after processing, you would like to move them to the output folder. But you want to move them by creating the year and then uh, you have a month uh, and a day folders in that you know that's where we, you would like to move those files uh. now what we are going to do we are going to go to the azure data factory here and uh, we are going to go to home and uh, in my previous videos probably you have seen that i always go to author and create a pipeline and uh, here there is other way to create the pipeline and this is a, a wizard given to us uh, that we can use uh, to create the uh, pipeline so go to home and uh, click on ingest and uh, that's where we are going to create this uh, uh, task or pipeline. Um, so run it once. We want to schedule. So it is asking uh, how often you would like to schedule. So in my case, I'm going to go ahead and say, OK, starting from this point, uh, schedule every 24 hours or uh, I can change, you know, uh, minutes, days and all that. So let's say if I would like to days, I can go provide the hours and minutes and everything. So it's your choice. So, you know, whenever you want to run. So if you will do minutes, let's say it run, let it run every uh, two minutes or three minutes or whatever. OK, so in my case, I'm going to run three minutes because I am performing a demo. So I would like to keep running, you know, so you can see that uh, so I can show you. But in your case, you might be run only once in a day or maybe twice in a day. So if the folder already will exist, it's not going to do anything. It's going to copy the files to it. So that's fine. So let's go ahead and uh, hit the next. And now we'll create select our source data set, uh, store. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and create new and uh, Azure Blob Store. That's where our files are sitting. Uh, I'm going to provide give this name Azure Blob Store to that's fine with me. Provide subscription. And now the storage account. Uh, hit create uh, to create uh, this uh, linked service. Uh, now the link service is created uh, and our connection is created uh, here what we are going to do we are going to provide uh, the folder where the files are so in, in this case uh, they are going to be in the input folder so hit ok and now uh, what we are going to do we are going to go binary copy because we really don't uh, need to do anything else it's just copy from one folder to another folder or from one container to another container uh, recursively is fine if there are some folders uh, subfolders uh, we would like to copy those files as well and uh, delete those files after completion that's what i would like to check here and uh, hit next now in the next uh, i need to select uh, the destination in my case uh, I'm going to select the same destination but our container name is going to be different uh, so browse and uh, select our output container that's where we would like to move uh, or co copy our files right so output and here after the uh, in uh, container we can provide these uh, variable or parameters here okay so what we are going to do first of all I need a year okay second part uh, what I need I need uh, month right and the third thing uh, what i need i need uh, day okay so in this case uh, now it is giving me in the format like how i would like to have my year in my case i would like to have a y y y so uh, and uh, how would like i would like to have my month so it will be like mm uh, so it will be or just m or mmm or mmm 3m for 4m so in my case i would like to have complete names here so if whatever the format you are checking here it's uh, kind of giving you this type of uh, for, uh, preview so you can see if i will select only m it's going to give me uh, right there the date and all so it's going to be giving me a month like this so if i will do two so not a big difference but if i do three 
say, say October OCT, MAR, MAR March, and those kind of things. In my case, I'm going to go with the full name. Okay. So in the day format, so you also have the option like uh, you want to do uh, Thursday three letters, or you want to do full, you know, all complete Thursday, Friday, and all that. So you can select whatever you like. In my case, I want to go with the full, and then you have file name at the end that will be coming dynamically as well. So you have tons of choices uh, to build uh, this uh, year month and day format for your files which will be moved here now it is all good hit next and what we are going to do here i'm going to provide the name copy file for uh, uh, yyy ddd mmm and ddd okay so i just gave the name for my pipeline hit next and it's going to give you summary review the summary and hit next now it's going to validate now it's creating the data set, creating the pipeline, creating trigger and starting trigger. So now it's starting trigger, finish. Now what we can do here, we can go to the uh, monitor here and uh, for, okay, let's go to the pipeline first actually. So let me show you. So let's go to the pipeline here and uh, then uh, review our pipeline, how exactly uh, the pipeline is created. So one of the thing, uh, if you are a new developer, uh, for the Azure Data Factory, I will suggest to you to use this uh, home and uh, copy data tool. Uh, that's uh, how I created this pipeline because uh, you can learn tons of things how the pipelines are created. So in this case, uh, if I will click right here, first of all, a variable Windows Start Time is used here. So that uh, I will show you where it is uh, used. So this uh, uh, parameter is created. And now what we can do, we can go to the uh, copy activity and go to the source here. And in the source, you can see right there, if we go to open, it a, uh, has a connection and it is an input and uh, then in the wildcard, it is using everything. So asterisk, right? Now here there is a no start time and end time. It is going to copy all the files. I have done a video where we had copied the only incrementally depending on the last modified date and all that. You can watch that video. Go to sync here and that's where our folder format is uh, uh, build. So if you go to the open, it's going to go to the output and then uh, folder path. If I go to back to the folder path here, uh, if you guys remember right there, that's where the CW folder path and that expression is used. I'm going to copy this one so I can show you right there what exactly it is. So if you go all the way here, it is uh, creating that uh, format date time and uh, inside that is can pipeline parameter and then uh, see uh, windows start uh, you know and then you have a uh, date time and uh, all that you know so you have a windows start so every time the our pipeline is going to run that's the time it is going to use so and then uh, create the year create the month part of it and create the day part out of that and uh, that's the expression you use so you can copy this expression and uh, this is how you will learn uh, like how to concatenate them how to put the, these things together Okay, let's go back to the pipeline and uh, we are all good here. And now what we are going to do, we are going to go to the monitor. In this uh, case, uh, what I want to do, I would like to go to the uh, uh, right here. Let's go to the pipeline run. And in the pipeline run, what we are going to see, we are going to see our pipeline right there. See, this is my pipeline. So uh, let me actually just make it a little bit. And I can actually filter with the pipeline and uh, this is the pipeline I am looking for. So this pipeline did uh, executed fine and uh, if we can go right there, we can take a look uh, on the number of files copied. So you can see that there are nine files. Those were copied from our input to the output folder or container. Now I can go back here if I can go to the trigger runs and if you guys remember that there is a trigger attached to this uh, pipeline. How I know that to see this schedule trigger, that's the trigger. So it is a, a not a really great name here, but I can go to the pipeline always. Uh, let me go to the pipeline here and uh, here pipeline and you can see the trigger right there, trigger by. So that's the trigger it is executing. So if uh, I want to look into trigger further, I can go to the manage and I can go to the trigger and here is my trigger. Now, if I will click on trigger, I can see all the details. So it is a scheduler trigger and it is running every three minutes. So, so you see right there, right? It's starting from this date and then running it. So you can change if you like. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let it run three minutes, that's fine. Let's go to the 
uh, input folder and if you guys remember we copy the files and then delete it so that's what happened now let me go back to the output folder and that's where our file should be in the format what we have defined so we said the year we said month and then we said day so that's how it is and these files are all copied there so okay so as of now you can see that uh, these are the files and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go back to my input folder and I'm going to upload some more files so if you guys remember that our trigger is going to run every few second actually three minutes and uh, what's gonna happen is gonna take those files and put into the folder so whatever the file does exist that that might be overwritten so I'm, I'm just uploading duplicates files as well so see I have tons of files now and uh, in my input folder and uh, once uh, our next run will execute it will take all these files and move uh, copy them to the output container and uh, in this uh, year month and all that and uh, then we are going to see them here and they will be deleted from our input uh, container so let's wait for the next execution let's go to the uh, monitor and here we are gonna see right there so I refresh and this time our uh, next run is completed so I'm gonna go to the pipeline execution hit right there on detail and uh, I'm gonna see nine files okay nine files so let me see if uh, let me go back uh, pipeline runs and uh, go right there let's see what this has done so see zero so there was no files uh, so now we are actually we are waiting for the next execution so let's wait for it so this is the uh, uh, 12 13 uh, I might have a place the files uh, off right after that so that's why we have to wait for it uh, so still we are waiting uh, yeah these files are there so they will be gone in the next execution so let's refresh uh, and we see right there there is the last execution right there and let me open this uh, execution let's go to the uh, total summary right here so the total files were at 17 and they were written so 17 so the pipeline got completed successfully now let's go back to the input container let's refresh and no files are there because we told uh, the pipeline to copy these files and uh, uh, then uh, delete them so what we are going to do we are going to go back here and then now uh, we will go to the output and here we are going to go to our folder October Thursday and you see that all the file has been copied to the output container and uh, they will uh, they were copied to the location such as output year month day so when tomorrow will come if this pipe will keep running and they, it will uh, uh, generate a new day depending on the, the current date you know whatever and move the files accordingly so I thank you very much for watching this video please subscribe my channel if you guys like my effort and I will see you guys in the next video